Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in ALM 17.0.1. First up, Web Runner updates. The manual runner has been revamped. The new design makes it easier for you to check all test step details, including user data, submit defects for test runs, and update run status. When working with requirements, you can now link tests or test configurations to a requirement. Open a test and you can view requirements that are linked to the test. Workflow now replaces entity settings, giving you improved functionalities for web runner customization. ALM no longer supports entity settings for configuring defect and run settings. You can only export the settings you previously defined. Next up, ALM implements some updates to the plan versus actual graphs. You can now use the planned exec date field to determine the planned line of a plan versus actual graph. It shows the number of tests whose planned exec dates fall within a specified period. For a planned versus actual last test run graph, you can select which test execution statuses are considered the complete status. When viewing a progress graph, you can now use the Show Total Values toggle to show or hide the total line. This line represents the sum of all the other group by categories. Now, on to REST API updates. The new Site Administration REST API documentation, powered by Swagger, continues to be enhanced. A new side menu is added for easy navigation and search, and required permissions information is provided for each API. A new API is available to verify user authentication. Compared with the existing similar API that supports XML responses only, this new API supports both JSON and XML response formats. ALM includes improved integration with Microsoft Teams. When you click the Microsoft Teams indicator of a user field from an entity's form, the entity's link is automatically sent to Teams without opening the Teams chat window. This improvement echoes the new integration solution recommended by Microsoft Teams. Finally, as a customer admin, you can now view your customer license usage information from site administration. This includes how many licenses are in use and how many licenses are assigned. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new ALM release.